What's going on guys, Plastic Beach X3 back here with another One Piece Locals video. This time we have round one at Locals. It's Zoro on the left and Monkey D. Luffy on the right. This is that new Luffy deck that everyone's been uh, testing out online. I think Los Fiends has a video about it. He's a really good player. He got like top four and treasure cup or two. Uh, and he showed off this deck. And I think it's been topping regionals and stuff. Um, essentially just OP01 with Luffy with like white beards in it. Um, and then you also play like Mass Deuce instead of Beppo. It's like, uh, has like a hundred more tech, so, or a thousand more tech, so. Uh, Luffy player, Ugh, excuse me. Luffy player plays a Robin. Um, swings six at life and he takes it. Zoro player plays a curly Dodon as a Gordon. And I think the Luffy deck is just, I think people are realizing that it's well positioned in the meta because Whitebeard, uh, Luffy's effect allows you to swing six every single turn, no matter what you're doing. So, um, swings five at life with Sunny Coon. Takes it and then counters out of the six with an Otama. Hits five Don. Taps three for Rush Zoro, swings into the uh, the Sunny, and then uses Luffy's effect to put a Dawn under Robin, swing five at life, KO the Dawn. He's got two left up. Already used Luffy's effect. Hmm. Just swings um, six, counters out with Otama. Plays a Gordon, passes turn. I've always thought, even in OP01, I've always thought that Luffy had a good matchup against Zoro. It's just Robin is a house now with uh, how Zoro plays nowadays, with all the low costs. Tap three for Zoro. Swing six at life. I, I, mean, I don't know. Maybe six at Robin. Yep, six at Robin. <laughs> uh, Gordon's effect to... Make Zoro minus three, swing six into three. Let's go. Pays one for a. I thought he paid one for a Nami, but maybe. I don't know what he paid one for. <laughs> Either way. Goes back to Luffy. Plays a Gordon, does the same play. S uses Luffy's effect to attach one to Gordon and swings into the Zoro with his own Gordon. Three to three, I believe. Maybe maybe four to three. Plays a Curly. Adds Machino. Plays a Curly. With a Rooney.
Swing seven of life. He takes it and triggers a jet pistol. KO the curly. I think that's fair enough. I don't think your jet pistol is getting much value either way. Maybe you're hitting like a Zoro, but... Um, you don't really want to pay that for Dawn. You have to keep up tempo with this aggro. The aggro matchup plays a Zoro for three. It's a jet pistol to KO the other curly. Swings um, four over the Gordon and then six at life. Takes it and then another six at life. Counters out with the mass deuce. If you don't know what the Mass Deuce does, he's a uh, 2k counter. Uh, he has 3,000 attack, and then he has the effect Dawn X2, KO at 2,000 or less when attacking. Swings Nami into Nami Swan to die, then drops a white beard. Leader goes up to 7k. Luffy effect to attach one, swing 8 into the Zoro character, lets it die. That's another reason why people think that this Luffy deck is so good is because it can capitalize off the white beard turn. Whereas like, yeah, it's good to like swing seven, but Luffy at least can allow you to use one of those Dawn. It's essentially an eight Dawn card for, it's essentially an eight, 10 crazy card. So, oh, double Tama. And then Jet Pistol the White beard, fair enough. Plays a Brook. Soul King. Swings nine at life. Takes that. Now Luffy finds himself in a scary position. Swing seven at life. Takes it. Makino, Makino, Iknami plus six. So nine. Swings ten at life. Or no, sorry. Makes Nami, swings nine at life with Nami. Makes Nami eight, and then attaches one to make it nine. Plays a rush Zoro. Swings eight, and it's all I got. Magada. GG's to those guys. Luffy gets it. Now make sure to subscribe to Plus 3 for more One Piece videos. Peace out.